Seattle's contribution to popular music is undisputed. You know the names from Hendrix to Hart, Pearl Jam, Macklemore, and many, many more in between. In this series, we're going to examine Seattle's music community in depth with unique performances, with interviews, and much, much more. We're also going to find out what makes Seattle, Seattle, and what makes this city on the shores of the Puget Sound one of the best places on the planet for music. Welcome to Sounds by the Sound. That's rock and roll. Welcome to another episode of Sounds by the Sound. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at some of the colleges and universities here in Seattle. It's a place where you can get a world-class traditional education, like here at the University of Washington. In recent years, Seattle has been named the smartest city in North America, and the local schools deserve a lot of credit for that. Today, we're gonna take a look at some of the great places of education throughout the city, and no question, college music is also synonymous with Seattle. Whether or not you're studying music or just a big fan that enjoys live music around town, attending college in Seattle is ideal. That's an understatement. Over at the Corner School of Arts, this renowned art school has an alumni list that includes Mary Lambert, Reggie Watts, and Nancy Wilson of Heart. Here at the UW, groups like Blue Scholars and Beat Connection met while members were going to school here. Also, Ryan Lewis, Kim Thale of Soundgarden, and uh, this guy. Ugh, nice photo. Also walked these halls. You can also study non-traditional things at places like the Emerald City Trapeze School. That's where we're going to go and introduce you to a band called Crater. While we're here at the UW, we're going to play around with a guy named Manatee Commune. And by play around, I mean we're going to have him perform underneath these beautiful cherry blossom trees. We'll also talk to him about his music. But first, here's Crater from the Emerald City Trapeze School. It sounds by the sound. My eyes hide 
here at Emerald City Trapeze Art in which is the Soto District of Seattle with the band Crater. Hello. Thank you for doing this. And I hope it's not horribly distracting that there are going to be people swinging behind us. It definitely will be for me. So. <laughs> you can give us some of uh, the background on the band. I know that some of you are from the Pacific Northwest and some just recently moved here. Yeah, so Kess and I went to NYU together and then after college, she's actually from here. I moved out here because I was sick of living in New York and started a band together and I met Ben at a show and he's an insane guitar player and cool. then it all just kind of happened. You released a record this year. Can you just tell us about uh, this group of songs, where and when they were recorded, what you were trying, trying to do with them? I started working on songs for the record when I first moved to Seattle because I had been really creatively stagnant living in New York and all these songs kind of they just poured out of me and then Kessia had been on tour with another band she came back and I had showed her some of the demos and she was really stoked about it and so we decided to go in on it together because we both have our own strong suits and the record is kind of just what unfolded we were living together at the time so you know whenever I had an idea I'd be like come into my room and listen and, <laughs> awesome. or like she'd be working on a drum part and I'd be passed out on her bed and just She'd be like, do you like this? I'd be like, oh. like yeah, good gone. Yeah. <laughs> in Seattle, specifically in the last couple of years, there is a bevy, and, and I guess there always has been, but maybe it's more concentrated right now, of female-fronted, female-driven uh, bands and, and artists making great art uh, in, in the city. And super, like, Proud, I don't want to say girl power, but sort of. So I mean, oh, it, 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 I mean, it's definitely very much a, a focus. Whether or not it's a, a band uh, like yours, whether or not it's a band, I mean, there are other band names that come up. Do you agree with that? Is that something in Seattle happening right now? Or? I mean, it's I happening know. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. In the world. I don't okay, think cool. it's specific to yeah. Seattle, but I think it's awesome. It's exciting. Yeah, it's agree. growing in Seattle and being and living in this city. Like it's an exciting process and thing to witness. Mm -hmm. But it's something that's also happening in other major cities around the world. Awesome. This growth and this like supportive environment for women to be creating really cool art together um, and putting it out there. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, we appreciate you being here. Congratulations on the album. It is Crater, and you're watching Sounds by the Sound. Welcome back to Sounds by the Sound. In today's episode, it's all colleges, universities, and the different ways you can get higher education here in Seattle. We're at the University of Washington. Here's a performance from Manatee Commune.
We're in Red Square at the University of Washington with Grant, who performs under the name Manatee Commune. Grant, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for having Should me. Should I call you Grant? You want me to call you? Grant is great. Okay. My friends at home call me Granatee, but Grant's good too. That's a good name. Yeah. That's very clever. <laughs> uh, where did the name Manatee Commune come from? I saw this like GIF motion image online mm -hmm. of this manatee making contact with its nose on the like glass of its aquarium. Mm -hmm. and thought it was adorable, and I was also going through a big animal collective kick at the time, and so I thought I would like put it all together. And uh, it's also, it's really Googleable, so that was uh -huh. one of the main things, was like, you know, you can type it in and, and Google, it'll be the first thing that Google goes to. That's smart, that's smart. Assuming yeah. people can spell manatee. Yeah, it's so true. <laughs> Which I'm sure for like 75% of the population, they're like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what autocorrects for, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Um. When did you get started playing music? Well, I've been playing uh, violin viola since I was like 10, 9 or 10 years old, but I didn't start producing until uh, my senior year of high school, which okay. was about four, maybe five years ago. Have you studied music formally at all, or did you just teach yourself everything? No, I have studied formally. I actually did, uh, I was studying music at Western Washington University and um, studying music education there. And um, I've also like, I mean, I've been in like every major orchestra, youth orchestra that I could possibly be in in Washington for a period of time. But I didn't do any formal stuff for like production or like guitar. Um, I definitely need to do some formal training for drums because I'm terrible at them, but you know, someday. I'll burn that bridge when I get to it. I was gonna say, the stuff that you do is not, it doesn't seem like stuff that's taught in schools. Maybe I just don't know about schools or, or, or Western's music program, but as far as the production and the beats and, and um, do you do samples? Do you use samples? Oh yeah, yeah as yeah. much as I can get. So uh, again, where did you learn that stuff? Did you teach it yourself? Did you learn from other artists just watching them? Man, it's a collection of a lot of things. I think um, the internet is like insanely like saturated mm -hmm. with as much um, content as you could possibly want. So if I ever wanted to do something, then I would just search for it on YouTube and then I'd find like some kid in his room just like finding a way to make something work with, with one synthesizer versus another. I did I did do some like audio engineering classes at my university, cool. but they weren't really like, they were more the the mathematical, technical kind of side of, yeah. of production, not really like the creative aspect. I think that stuff, I just wanted to create something, so I just searched the internet until I figured out how I wanted to do it. And uh, yeah, it's led me to this point. What inspires you about being in the Pacific Northwest? It feels like your music syncs up very well with the visual <laughs> beauty of this area. I think it's kind of, it's inside of me. It's not really something I can really describe. I mean, I've, I've grown up here my whole life and I've been backpacking around the Northwest mm. since I can remember. Those are like the calmest places and the most inspiring places I can possibly imagine is like being out in nature, like amongst these huge, like totally natural things. And I think that's when I feel most satisfied is like when I can capture that kind of like random but ordered kind of natural feeling that comes from the Northwest. Sure. Which is really cool. Any specific spots that, that you like to go to, like Snoqualmie Falls, you know, Little totally. Forest, anything like that? I mean, the San Juan Islands are absolutely spectacular. Yeah. Anytime I go out there, I'm, I'm always blown away, specifically on Orcas Island. I think um, that spot is just absolutely bonkers. It's so beautiful. Tell us about this EP that you just put out. Totally. Um, it's called Thistle EP. Just dropped it at the end of February. It's like a, a collection of like my fresh sound, like what I've been working on mm -hmm. mainly. Um, I've been taking a field recorder with me everywhere yeah. and just sampling my friends, sampling my journeys. And um, it's been really fun because I can, I'll just drop it into a track and it, with like some kind of organizing, it, it starts to, f like the whole album kind of started to feel like a bit of a, um, a diary of like my last like six months cool. um, of just like being a person, which has been really fun. Cool. Yeah. Grant, thanks so much for hanging yeah, out. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank for you so me. much for performing here at it's the University pleasure. of Washington. It is uh, Grant who performs under the name Manatee Commune, and you're watching Sounds by the Sound. Welcome back to Sounds by the Sound. Here's another performance from Crater from the Emerald City Trapeze School at Sounds by the Sound.
so much for watching this episode of Sounds by the Sound. Thanks so much to everyone that let us hang out today, from the University of Washington, where we are right now, to the Emerald City Trapeze School. Also, thank you to Crater for performing. Right now, it's a final performance from Manatee Commune here at the University of Washington. You're watching Sounds by the Sound.